is there are there any uh, unreleased Beatles recordings that that you know of that that we've not heard? Yeah, but you wouldn't want to hear them. I have a feeling that a lot of people would. Is well. You know, there's, there, there's one or two things, but um, one that sort of deep fans keep requesting is a thing called Carnival of Light, but it, it's very far out. Mm -hmm. I think we can handle it. I you really can do. Far, it. Up, yeah. far out for 15 minutes? Yeah, we'll just do you a bunch of drugs that? and go crazy All like right. the old days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, was, it was almost like uh, playing. And making a musical montage, which reminds me of the story I heard about the way that you put together an almost mythical Beatles track called Carnival of Light, mm. uh, which you recorded in late 60s, I think, yeah. when you were mixing Penny Lane or one of those tracks, mm. and it was recorded for one of those freak-out happenings at the Roundhouse. Mm -hmm. Does it exist? Yeah, it you, does. You, do you have a copy of it? Do you, we, will I you do. ever release it? Well, you know, the thing is, when we were putting together the Beatles anthology album, we were looking at every little thing we'd ever recorded. In fact, George and I, George Harris and I were joking that if we ever did anything else, it'd have to be called scraping the bottom of the barrel, <laughs> you know, because we were just looking at every piece of rubbish or good stuff. And this came to light. And I said, you know, it'd be great to put this on because it would show that we were working kind of really avant-garde stuff. Um, then, you know, so would be, I think it'd be nice, or at least a portion of it or something. But it was vetoed. The guys didn't like the idea. It was, oh, no, it's rubbish, you know. Too weird. It was a bit too weird, yeah. But when you listen to it now, I mean, I don't know when you last heard it, but yeah. does it does it stand up or it, does it just sound like drug-addled weirdness? No, it's, uh, I like it. Um, it's, it's kind of, it's very simplistic, it's quite naive, but I like it because it's the Beatles uh, free, the Beatles going off-piste. And that's the influence of Cage and Stockhausen and people like that. Yeah, you know, there was, I was listening to a lot of that stuff, and John was into a lot of that stuff. And uh, so I would bring ideas. And this came about, the Carnival Light came about because um, International Times IT were doing a thing. A friend of mine, Barry Miles, yeah. uh, said to me, would you write some music? So I said, well, I'll, yeah, let me, let me see what I can do. So I just went into the studio um, before a Beatles session, and when the guys came in, I said, look, can we just have 15 minutes where I'll just organize a little bit of craziness? Is everyone up for it? And the guy said, yeah, sure, you know. So I said, okay, well, just wander around and just hit anything you want, just say anything you want, just play a ding on the piano, right. or go doo -doo on the drums. Avant-garde hey, music. Yes. Avant-garde. Yes. As George used to call it, avant-garde a clue. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I said, well, we'll just do this for 15 minutes, and then that's me covered. Right. I'll give it to the guy. We put a lot of echo on it. Right. So we did that, and it's, it is 15 minutes of avant-garde Beatle music. Now, because the Beatles was such a big thing it now is of interest right I actually wanted to try and get it on the Beatles anthology but um, George didn't like it George H didn't like it he yeah. thought it was way too indulgent which is probably true but I, I kind of like it because there's no other instance of the Beatles going avant-garde and it's 15 minutes yeah and it, I, I think it's really interesting yeah. but um, I couldn't recreate it. No. it it is what it is but we'll probably do something similar to that because cause it is the roundhouse. Now, I've never been back in all those years. Uh, you know, so to wow. me, it's, yeah. it's light shows. It's, it's yeah. the whole sort of thing. It's a, it's a huge oh, it's 60s. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, always yeah. a lovely yeah. place. And to me, I remember the uh, sort of International Times launch yeah. and all of that. Uh, I, I basically only remember walking round and round the stage, which was in the middle then. Mm. And um, in something of a haze... But that was the 60s.